What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hope it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a doctor working in London. And before we actually start the video guys, can I just say, I really hope you're enjoying this kind of new background. I've obviously moved into my first apartment ever. So the background will slowly be changing over the course of the next couple of days to weeks uh, for recording my videos. So leave a comment down below if you like the new filming location. But in this video, I'm gonna take you guys through what I carry with me on a daily basis in my backpack. And I'm really excited to show you guys how my bag has changed from a medical student to a doctor. So let's start off with the actual bag itself. This bag, I believe, is called Tiganu. And funny story. Oh! I bought this bag six years ago and the reason why I got this bag in particular is because my old bag was handed down to me by like my older sister and it had a bunch of like writing all over it and when I got invited to a medical school interview uh, for King's College London or actually no for Birmingham at the time I realized that I have to buy a nice professional bag and look like an actual doctor so here I am six years later with the same backpack that I attended my interviews for showing you guys what's inside so the bag itself is called Tiganu like I said I really really like this bag because it has a very nice size to it. I don't just use it on a daily basis when I'm going to the hospital. I also actually use it when I'm going on a vacation, when I'm going on holiday as well. It serves multiple purposes and I really like this bag. The main reason why I really liked it as well is that it has so many different pockets. It has a pocket on the outside, uh, one pocket here, a main compartment, and also a compartment for my actual laptop. So let's start with that. The actual compartment for the laptop is right here in the back. And I really like it because it's, it's quite subtle and it's a separate uh, compartment entirely just for my laptop so if we open that up actually when I go to hospital I don't actually carry a laptop with me I actually carry my iPad Pro so this is my 12.9 inch um, iPad Pro with a bunch of stickers on it on the outside it looks quite immature it looks a bit unprofessional but for the next four months I'm actually on my pediatric rotation so my consultant noticed this when I was on the wards and said Kenji this looks very professional because the kids are gonna absolutely love it um, so as well as that I also have the magic pen pencil I guess and I also have the magic keyboard over here as well. Really, really handy. The reason why I carry my iPad with me when I'm on uh, in the hospital and not my laptop is quite a bit heavier and it's quite a bit bigger. This is a nice, very kind of portable size that is nice to have with you. Also, if I decide to make notes, if I'm on the actual ward round or I'm seeing patients or whatever, and I actually want to make, you know, physical notes, it's really nice to just bring out the pencil and be able to do that without wasting paper. MacBook Pro is what I use at home for, you know, filming videos and you're doing loads of work, but this is what I use on the go when I'm on the wards every single day. So that's what I have in the laptop compartment. What's really cool with this bag as well, if we flip it over, on the actual bottom side, there's also a separate compartment here, which is really handy when I go traveling. When you're traveling, um, obviously you don't wanna have all of your money and your passport and your really you know, important things with you on the outside. You wanna have it as safe as possible. So there's a really nice compartment here, which I have a few euros. But yeah, here's where I keep my money, my passport whenever I travel. But obviously when I'm in the hospital, I don't actually need that for very, very much. So let's flip it back on the other side. Let's look at what I have on the outside. So on the outside, I have Thermos. If you're a medical student or a doctor, this is so important. The number of people I see go to Costa every single day and spend £3.50 on a coffee is crazy, right? £3.50 every day for a frugal guy like me, that is quite a lot of money. So I always try to carry my thermos with me and I make my coffee in the morning here at home. I have a nice kind of uh, cafetiere. I have a bunch of coffees that I love from around the world. So making my coffee in the morning is one of the few pleasures that I have before heading to work in the morning. On the other side, I also have my bottle. So you guys have probably seen this in my previous videos, but this is the uh, Chili 500 ml water bottle that I use on a daily basis again. It is very, very important because when you're in an NHS hospital, finding a water fountain for the doctors is literally impossible. So I love carrying a nice cold drink with me. Let's go for the actual main compartment next. I store pretty much all of the big bulky stuff. So the first thing that kind of rolls out is my nuts. The reason why I have nuts is that it's just a nice snack to have normally around 11 a.m. before I have my lunch. Because also what you'll find is that in an NHS hospital, all of the actual canteens are closed at like, like 6, 7 p.m. So if you're working a night shift or you're working a long shift and you don't actually finish your shift until 10 p.m., 11 p.m., maybe you're on a night shift and, you, and your shift doesn't actually finish until the next morning, there will be no food or drinks available to you as a doctor. So it's really important to have some form of snack in your bag 
at all times for those emergencies. Inside the main compartment, we also have my lunchbox. So I use these glass lunchboxes from Ikea. I don't wanna be spending, you know, six pounds a day on lunch uh, canteen food, which is like made in a microwave or made in like a oven. I wanna have my fresh lunch. So I tend to actually meal prep um, every single Sunday. I cook all of my meals for the entire week and I actually have a full meal prep video, which I'll leave up here for you guys. Next up, we have more snacks. <laughs> so I have uh, my Huel, which I bring with me. This is definitely not sponsored, but I really, really love Huel. It's an amazing brand because if I'm actually on the ward and I have no time to eat a full meal or I'm really, really busy, I love just having powder, which I can just straight away add into my Huel bottle, add a bit of water, shake it up, and I immediately have a meal that contains all of the calories that I need. There's about 400 calories and 20 grams of protein inside of this and all of the kind of minerals and nutrients you actually need. So this is not, this doesn't replace my lunch, but I tend to have this around 4 or 5 p.m. when I'm getting really hungry. So I have my nuts around 11 a.m. I have my my kind of lunch around 1, 1 p.m., maybe 2 p.m. sometimes if the hospital's really busy. Then I have my Huel around 4 p.m. Uh, later on as well. So next up in the middle is, of course, my stethoscope. So I actually have a very nice like carbon fiber case that I keep my stethoscope in. It costs a lot of money, so you wanna make sure you actually protect it. And then on the inside, I have my black stethoscope. And if you guys can see here, I don't know if you can see on the camera above, but over here, I actually have my name engraved there. So Dr. Kenji Tamita, really important to do because when you're on the wards and your consultant wants to borrow your stethoscope and maybe you're sat down in the doctor's office and you take it off and you leave it on the side, someone will steal it. <laughs> I promise you that. Doctors and nurses are amazing, but you never know who walks into a hospital, right? So having it lying around without your name is very risky. If you don't have your name en engraved on it, I recommend just buying one of those tags that you can put on with your name, or you can actually just put like a permanent marker or just a piece of paper. As well as that, I always have two pens. The first pen is just a normal pen. So the one I have here is the British Medical Association. I got that for free somewhere. Um, I also have my second pen, uh, just in case, because pens will go missing. Again, your consultant will want to borrow your pen and yeah, it will go missing. So I have a second pen. The second pen I actually use has a flashlight. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has a flashlight. Really important, especially now when I'm in the pediatric A&E department. I often have kids who may come in and you want to make sure that you know, their pupils are reactive to light and you do a full neurological examination, which involves using a light. And also when you're looking down a kid's throat to look at their tonsils, a lot of kids come in with tonsillitis right now. So being able to visualize their tonsils with light is super important. So I always carry a light in there with me. This is a huge bag. The amount of stuff that can be, that can actually be fit in the main compartment is crazy. Within the main compartment, I also have a bunch of wires. So I'll just bring that out and show you guys what I always have with me. The first one is the charger for my MacBook Pro. I don't always carry my MacBook Pro in, like I said, but it's always nice to have it available so that when I do have my MacBook Pro with me, I always have it charged. Uh, I also have a Type-C to Type-C cable for my iPad Pro normally. I do normally charge it overnight, but some days I may forget and it's always lovely to have that with you. I have an iPhone charger as well. Uh, again, my battery doesn't tend to die, but if I forget to charge it overnight or I need some extra power, it's nice to have that with me. I have a USB, uh, micro USB cable as well. So maybe for my headphones or my camera batteries or whatever reason, micro USB is lovely to have. And in order to charge my devices, what I plug in to that is it's this RAV Power 65 watt charger. This is one of the most amazing chargers I've ever used. It's 65 watts, so it can charge most devices at full speed. It has a USB type A, I believe it's called, or a normal USB you know, port in there. It also has a type C port as well. In the same compartment, I also keep this Spuds microfiber cloth. So really handy to have. Uh, whenever I have like a smudge of my glasses or my camera lens needs cleaning or my you know technology to keep my stuff fingerprint free. In the same compartment, I also have one of these bags. So this is just a kind of carrier bag that I got from King's College London, uh, my university that I graduated from. Super handy to have whenever I you know want to pop to the shops and on the way home and you know pick up a few groceries and stuff like that. It's lovely to have a bag so I don't have to like waste plastic. So I always keep that in there with me as well. In one of the other compartments, I also have an anchor. It's really cool because it's a MagSafe charger. So if I'm on the wards and I'm running around and my battery's dead, rather than sitting down to actually charge it, I'll just slap this onto the back of my phone and that will keep it charged. And also has a port over here to allow me to charge all of my other devices. By the way, everything that I'm telling you guys will all be linked down below if you wanna check any of them out. Oh, something else I have in there. <laughs> 
I completely forgot that I actually had this in there and I've never actually used this. This is something that I bought a couple of weeks ago, but just haven't had the time to use. This is actually a, an Apple Watch charger. So I normally just plug it into my Anchor device over here, plug it in like that. I'm able to actually charge my Apple Watch on the go, which is really nice because when I'm traveling, I don't wear my Apple Watch um, all the time in hospital, but when I'm traveling in particular and my Apple Watch dies, I can charge it on the go as well, which is amazing. And that is pretty much it for the main compartment other than <laughs> other than um, this book I completely forgot I had. This is the Oxford Handbook uh, for the Foundation Program. If you're a medical student, I would highly recommend you get this book. I was actually given it, uh, I think for free actually, from the MDU. It's actually really interesting and really helpful because when you go see a patient, if you're an F1 doctor or a new doctor like me, a lot of the times, you know, the things that you will be doing will be the first time you've ever done those things. Really good for things like certifying death. If you want, if someone actually dies on your ward, you will be called to certify the death as a doctor. That's something that you don't actually get taught in medical school. So being able to bring out this book and remind yourself of key things that you learned uh, in medical school, maybe things that you haven't learned before is really, really helpful. So I, I like to keep that at the bottom of my bag and clearly haven't needed to use it um, yet, but I definitely know that at some point I will. All right, so if we move into the kind of front compartment of my bag, I'll keep a bunch of random stuff in here. So the first thing that I have in here is some cutlery, so some plastic cutlery. I actually carry, carry this wherever I go, not just to the hospital. The reason being is that I don't want to, you know, use single use plastic. It's really nice to just have my own uh, cutlery with me. And obviously, like I said, I do meal prep my own meals. So having this with me saves me from having to like run to the canteen during my half an hour break. Much easier just to have cutlery for yourself. As well as that, I have, okay, a second pair of cutlery. This is in pink. It's always nice to have a backup pair of cutlery because I always forget to put it back in my bag whenever I wash them. I also have some sunglasses here. So really, really important to, when you're sitting outside for your lunch to protect your eyes. Yeah, during my lunchtime, I normally like to sit outside and enjoy the summer weather while we have it here in the UK. Moving on, I have a bunch of pens here. Like you can see, I'm not gonna bring them out, but I have three pens here just as a backup. I also have antibacterial, antiviral um, hand sanitizing gel, really important whenever I wanna have a snack. Um, I also have tissues in here, <laughs> really random stuff, but I have pocket tissues in there as well. I have uh, hand lotion in there whenever I want to moisturize my hands. I've also got uh, sweeteners. The reason being is that in the doctor's common room, we only have sugar there and I don't normally have sugar with my coffees and stuff. So I always like to carry some sweeteners with me uh, as well. This is really, really important, but this is my A6 uh, notebook that I carry everywhere with me in the hospital. It's really, really important because when you're a doctor, you'll have nurses running up to you saying, doctor, would you mind doing this? You'll have your consultants reminding you to do certain jobs. You'll have your registrars asking you to do things that they forgot. It's, it's impossible to rely on your memory. And if, if I can recommend anything, if you're a doctor or a medical student, don't rely on your memory to remember the things you need to do because as you go throughout your day you'll have a bunch of people asking you to do certain tasks so keep this book with you to write down anything that you need to and I have like 10 in my room that I just always like to use I have this kind of mini bag with me just to hold you know a few small things kind of like an emergency bag I'd say in there I have some antihistamines ibuprofen rubber bands for some weird reason I have paracetamol, my contact lens case. If I'm wearing my contacts in hospital and my eyes get really dry, it's nice to have my contact lens case there. I have a bunch of plasters and a bunch of other tablets, which I think are loratadine, so antihistamines, some more ibuprofen, more pain relief. And that's pretty much what I have in this kind of emergency pouch that we have going there. That's it for this compartment, but the final compartment to show you guys is actually right here in the front. And I do apologize for how dirty this bag is. I really need to get it cleaned properly. But in the right frontmost pocket over, over here, we have my AirPods Pro. So these I carry with me in the hospital because when I'm on my lunch break or if I'm in the doctor's office and I'm doing a bunch of admin, I love just having them in my ear to listen to a podcast or to listen to some music or whatever. I also have my, I was gonna say purse, but my wallet in there as well. Always important to have in case I'm going to the grocery shop afterwards. I have a bunch of FFP2 masks for whatever reason. I think this is because when I travel to Barcelona or somewhere, I needed to I needed this to board the plane and I just haven't had the time to remove them. I'm actually really interested in all of these things I've been carrying in here. I actually have not entered entered this uh, compartment for such a long time. So I'm also very excited to see what I have in here. I have a padlock for some reason. I think the reason why I have a padlock in here is because when I go to the gym, when I used to go to the gym, I used to lock up my bag. That is pretty much it. So the amount of stuff I have in here is actually crazy. And that's why I carry pretty much on a daily basis as a doctor. Leave a comment down below. Any sort of video that you guys want me to film, a bunch of content is coming away uh, since starting becoming a doctor and before you guys leave uh, here are a bunch of videos on my channel that you may want to check out please leave a like uh, drop a comment down below make sure you're subscribed with notifications on to never miss another upload thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one